Hey everyone, Scott here from the Fragrance Channel, Scott Aromatico. How's everybody doing? Happy Tuesday, hope you guys are having a great start to your day. I am super excited to be with you here today because today I am talking about the House of Authenticity Perfumes. Guys, it's one of my favorite discoveries of this year. I love these indie houses, guys. And I first discovered them when I won one of their giveaways on Instagram, and I got this bad boy right here. I got a bunch of fragrances, but this is one in particular that I really fell in love with, and this one is called Barbershop. Well, it worked, the giveaway worked because it led to this bad boy right here. And now I have a full bottle, and man, the quality of this is so good, guys. And the juice is just absolutely amazing. It's clean, it's fresh. It smells like a fresh can of shaving cream, and it's one of my favorite fragrances that I have in my collection. It's very versatile. You can wear it all year round if you wanna smell fresh and clean. But guys, I'm not here to talk to you about Barbershop. Authenticity was so kind to reach out to me, full disclosure, and send me a full bottle of Tobacco Boss. And guys, I've really wanted to get my hands on this bottle because I've seen a lot of you posted in the Facebook groups, a lot of you posted on Instagram, and you all are super excited. So I wanted to see what the hype was and if this was hype worthy, guys. So here is the box that I received from Authenticity Perfumes, guys. This is the box that came in. On the side, it has the website, authenticityperfumes.com. There's 50% oil concentration, it says on the back. We've also got, let's see, what else does it say? 12 plus hours longevity, premium, long lasting fragrances at a reasonable price. And this is a two fluid ounce or 60 ml. And for a 60 ml, you're gonna pay just under 40 bucks. So not a bad price. Now, when I went to the website to navigate a little bit, it popped up immediately that they're giving 10% off uh, site wide. So you guys might wanna take advantage of that. Here is the bottle with the stop cap. And I'm gonna go ahead and take that off. All right. On the back, you've got your barcode for those of you who care about such things and the ingredients, all right? Okay, now let me go ahead and tell you what we have in the ingredients. So I'll do that real quick. And I know you don't wanna look at my ugly mug while I tell you that. So on the top, we've got some citruses. We've got bergamot and orange. So in the heart, we have tobacco, bay leaf and patchouli and eucalyptus. And in the base, we've got vanilla, honey, leather, tonka, and sandalwood. So there you have it. All right, let's go ahead and spray this bad boy. I'm gonna spray it on skin. And <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right away, you don't need a lot of sprays of this bad boy whatsoever. And I don't know why I sprayed it three times. I know better from the last time I sprayed this and tested it out. But guys, this fragrance is so unusual. Now, here's the thing about this fragrance. It lists bergamot and it lists orange right off the top, but I don't really get a lot of bergamot and I don't really get a lot of orange. To my nose, I get like a lemon zest. Not exactly citrus, but lemon zest as if, as if you were grating the actual lemon itself. But, that, but what I really get more so than the lemon zest, and now when I spray this, my daughter was sitting on the other side of the room and she actually looked up and she said, is that a pancake fragrance? <laughs> and I was like, no, this is a tobacco fragrance because she knows how much I love gourmand fragrances. But the first thing I got from smelling this fragrance was pancakes. It smells like hot pancakes with syrup on top mixed with a tobacco vibe. And I know that may sound weird, but for some reason it oddly works, guys. I really, really love this fragrance. Okay, the bay leaf is very aromatic. It gives it a nice kind of green herbal uh, composition. It's a very camphorous note, if you will. Bay leaf, I know, is used in cooking, but uh, for some reason, it really works with this one. The patchouli gives it a nice earthy tone as well. And then there's the eucalyptus really comes through as the fragrance starts to dry down. Now, of course, we all know eucalyptus is a favorite food of the koala bear but it's a very calming scent that's used in a lot of essential oils. And it can be a little uh, camphorous, you know, a little bit woody, a little bit fruity. It's kind of sharp and cool. That's kind of what eucalyptus does, but it's really nice and it works really good with all the ingredients. Both of those scents, bay leaf and eucalyptus are very camphorous in nature, which is basically kind of cool and sharp, but it's okay, it works well and it helps tone down that honey, helps tone down the tonka and the vanilla. And guys, it just really works. There's sandalwood in here to make it nice and creamy. And this is just, it's weird because it's like 
you've got that, all those things going on. And then you've got this nice, to me, to me, to my nose, you have this nice dry tobacco leaf that smells very authentic. So all those ingredients you think would be a hot mess, but they play together really nicely. So I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's that honey and that tonka just working together to give it like that pancake syrup vibe, but that is exactly what I get. And it just works so good. I've heard someone say in one of the groups I read that they said it smelled like Cinnabon and tobacco. I get that, I get where they're coming from with that, but you get the vibe that I'm projecting here. It's It's got this nice tobacco vibe, but it's also got this gourmandish quality as well. You know, a la like Tom Ford, uh, Tobacco Vanille, or maybe Herod, where you've got the tobacco, but you've also got that really nice sweetness. And uh, this one just works, guys. Like I said, the citrus on the top comes out almost like a lemon zest instead of bergamot or orange. And then you really, really get that bay leaf and that eucalyptus giving it that camphorous, cool, you know, almost sharp note that it has, kind of green and herbal in the mid, but then you get the, all those gourmands coming through and then the tobacco leaf is just so beautiful, guys. So this is unusual. It's unlike anything I've ever smelled in my life. Um, it's a head turner for sure. And when I tested it the other day, I got eight hours, um, maybe even more, but I know eight hours for sure. Um, like I said, the box says 12 plus hours. I can tell you that I got eight hours. Um, and I know, so that's a long time. That's beast mode for a $40 fragrance, guys. You can't beat that. And uh, no, I'm not just saying that because this bottle was given to me. This fragrance is really, really good and it really works. And if you're, we're all looking for something that's not copying another fragrance. We're all looking for something that's unusual and stands out. This is the fragrance. It stands out, it stands alone, and it's really good. And it's a masterpiece. It kind of reminds me of what Aaron Taron Hughes did with Smolder. It's so unique, just like that, guys. You have to take my word for it. Go ahead and check out the site. Maybe get you a sample if they're available or get you a full bottle. Whatever you think, guys. Let's help out these small businesses and these independent niche houses, guys. Because, you know, at, at the end of the day, they're trying to make a living in this economy and this crazy world. And uh, I love finding out and discovering these new indie niche houses, guys. This one is really good. I'm telling you, it's so unusual. Like I said, it's like tobacco meets uh, IHOP. <laughs> but I don't mean that in an insulting way, okay? It's just got a nice, very gourmandish quality, but yet works with that herbalness, you know, from the eucalyptus and from the bay leaf. So guys, you really need to check this out. It's really unique, it's really different, and it's really fun. It's fun, it's flirty, and I can see why they call it Tobacco Boss, because when you're wearing this, you're definitely gonna get noticed and your confidence is gonna go way up, guys. So there you have it. And I feel like if you wanna know when this fragrance works, it's gonna work best in the fall, it's gonna work best in the winter time. I don't think it's gonna work all that good in, in the summertime, unless you're stuck in air conditioning that's cranked way up. But this is just perfect for the fall, especially with that nice, uh, vanilla honey vibe that you get in this so and that tobacco leaf so fall winter and like I said performance is great I'm telling you you only need a few sprays because you're gonna fill up the room you don't want to choke out everybody in the car if you get in the car or choke out everybody in the office wearing this and uh, so to me now I know it says on the website you can go from the office to the club with this to me this seems like more like a date night scent or more like a clubbing scent just a fun flirty scent to me more than it does you know kind of like a, a work scent but uh that's kind of the nature of this one so this one is really cool guys don't take my word for it never take any reviewer's word for it check it out for yourself but this is a fun fun vibe guys so there you have it those are my thoughts on tobacco boss well done authenticity you got two bangers right here and i definitely need to try out more from you guys very shortly so all right guys that's my opinion i really appreciate it thank you for sticking with me and guys, I'll each and every one of you, if you got any value whatsoever from the video, go ahead and leave me a thumbs up. If you're brand new to the channel, we'd love, you. We'd love to have you join my fragrance family. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the bell notifications. Even to you OGs, if you don't have that bell notification hit, just go ahead and hit it right now. So these videos come into your feed, guys. Share the video with your friends and family and join me on my journey. Thank you guys so much. What is everybody wearing today? What's your scent of the day? What's your favorite indie perfume house? I love hearing from you guys. So let me know down in the comments, all right? And have you guys got your nose on this? Tell me your thoughts. I'd love to hear from you guys. All right, guys, thank you so much. Remember to always be yourself as long as yourself, as long as yourself smells so very good. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Mm-hmm.
Peace, love, ciao.